Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. It's all ahead, but we begin with that breaking news, a traffic disaster developing on the east side of Manhattan right now. A major part of the Ed Koch Queensboro Bridge closed. Take a look. Chopper 2 HD is live now showing the clogged streets and bumper to bumper lines of cars just trying to get out of the city. Commuters looking at at least a two hour delay here. All of this because of a truck fire this morning. Right now, all of the outbound lanes of the 59th Street Bridge are closed. Officials trying to reroute out traffic any way they can. CBS 2's Dave Carlin trying to navigate his way through this mess. He's bringing us a live view of conditions from behind the wheel of Mobile 2. Dave. Well, Mobile 2, not mobile right now. Take a look at this. Uh, you know, really just the sea of head, um, brake lights, rather, not headlights. I, right now, we just haven't been moving at all. It's been a slow trek. What a saga since 11 a.m. This happened in, in only four lanes. Uh, our, well, four lanes are closed on the Queensboro at Koch Bridge. And so that is creating problems on both sides and people are just frustrated as you can imagine. Red hot emergency on the Ed Koch Queensboro Bridge. Here's what it looked like on the lower level minutes after this fireball started reducing a 40 foot tractor trailer truck into charred bits and pieces. The truck was hauling masses of clothes hangers. The flames raged for more than an hour, shooting at the bridge's upper level, potentially undermining it. Crews are now spending long hours checking the stability of a pair of I beams that support the upper roadway. The worst part is everyone honking their horns. And that's the worst part, like they're going to go somewhere. Frustrating, definitely, man, but it's a city. What do you expect? Back live with a look at 58th Street. The approach to the bridge is just a mess. No other way to put it. Now, we understand from the bridge inspectors and the fire department that those closed lanes where the fire was burning hottest will stay closed until morning. Live in Mobile 2, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Okay, Dave, thank you so much. We're just getting word that one lane of the outbound lanes is, in fact, open on the 59th Street Bridge. Let's go up to Chopper 2 HG, Joe Bierman, with possible alternate routes. How about it, Joe? Hey, Maurice. Well, we want to start with the breaking news. Look at the far right of your screen. That's the outbound outer roadway, the traffic going away from us. So we just got some lanes open on the uh, Ed Koch Bridge. They have set up a new traffic pattern. So the outbound outer roadway is reopened. Now we're going to bring you over here to the Manhattan side. What they're doing as you come down 2nd Avenue, 2nd Avenue is just gridlocked at a dead standstill. But some good news. Now, if you look here, they're pushing traffic the wrong way. The outbound lower level, you're going to travel on the inbound lanes. DOT doing a good job there trying to pull the traffic and a lot of confusion with motorists, you know, going the wrong way on, on the Ed Koch Bridge. But 2nd Avenue is gridlocked from the uh, 70s all the way down. Some other tips, 1st Avenue jammed from the 70s all the way up to the RFK Bridge. Uh, Third Avenue is just a little bit better, and the FDR drives at a complete standstill. Live in Chopper 2 HD, Joe Bierman, CBS 2 News. Yeah, a fun day to be out there, Joe. Thank you. Now for some more information on the Ed Koch Queensboro Bridge. The span carries more than 180,000 drivers a day. It was built between 1901 and 1909, and it was designated as a national landmark back on November 23rd, 1973. For up-to-the-minute commute conditions and delays, you can access real-time traffic maps on our website, cbsnewyork.com. Another story breaking this afternoon. Firefighters rushed to the Fordham section of the Bronx today for a partial building collapse. This is a scene from Jerome Avenue at East 193rd. Around 3.30, a 30-foot stretch of a store's facade collapsed, raining bricks onto the area below. It happened just a few feet from the four, uh, four train tracks. Trains slowed in the area to prevent further crumbling. Developing story now in New Jersey. Jersey, where Governor Chris Christie has agreed to allow children easier access to medical marijuana. But the fight not over yet. Christie did send the bill back to legislature.